Comedian? He is a comedian. He's a comedian. He's a. Ah, nah, nah, him. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a comedian. He's a comedian. He's a okay. Comedian. T. Bubba Bechtel. Well, my name is Bubba. That's not my real name. Nobody could be that southern. My real name is James Terrell Bechtel the Fourth. But you can't grow up in Mississippi with a name like that and have teeth and ears by the time you're 12. <laughs> my mama named me Bubba. When I started grade school, I asked her why. She said, well, anytime you're born talking back, your belly is bigger than your chest and you're ugly, you're gonna be a Bubba. <laughs> I asked my mother if I was an ugly baby. She said, oh yeah, you was ugly. You was born backwards and nobody noticed. She said, I carried you around upside down for two years. Said, everybody I showed you to thought you had the biggest smile I'd ever seen. <laughs> Dollywood, that's where me and Louise had to do our theater stuff over there, close to Dollywood. I went there last week, got on a merry-go-round, and screwed it in the ground. <laughs> they, won't let, they won't let me back in there no more. Tried every diet in the world. Diets do not work for me. Tried that slim fast diet. Ain't nothing true about either one of them words. Slim nor fast. <laughs> I followed the instructions. Said drink a shake in the morning, a shake at lunch, a shake in the afternoon, and then eat a sensible meal at night. You know how sensible you gonna be when you've been sucking powder all day? I could eat butter from a bull by five o'clock. <laughs> then I went on a prune diet. Went on a prune diet. I didn't lose no weight, but you knew where to find me if you needed me. <laughs> I recommend a prune diet to any of you that might have a cold or the flu. You eat two cups of prunes every morning, and I guarantee you, you won't cough all day long. <laughs> you'll want to, but you'll catch yourself. Y'all notice I'm losing my hair? Man, I hate that. I don't mind it when it, when it turns gray, but I hate it when it turns loose. It's like about three years ago, one day God said, let's have some fun with Bubba. Let's suck half the hair off the top of his head and blow it out his nose and ears. I got hair in my ears, man, something wrong with that. Beware the Igmos. Igmo, I'm gonna give you a good word tonight, you can use it. You know, I would never call anybody stupid because Bubba's nicer than that. But I will call somebody an Igmo. I know what I'm talking about, they don't. I can be nice. It's a cross between ignorant and moron. It is otherwise normal people who do and say the dumbest things in public. I met one Super Bowl Sunday. I'm flying back from Nashville, that last time I did the Grand Ole Opry, back to Knoxville to do the show at the Governor's Palace. And then I got into the baggage claim. Met a female Igmo this time. Oh, they come in both sexes. <laughs> Waiting for my bag. I walked in on the bench. There's a newspaper lying on the bench. I sat down on the newspaper. I'm sitting on a newspaper. A lady came up to me and said, excuse me, but are you reading that newspaper? I got up, turned the page, sat back down, said, yes, ma'am, I am. Thank you very much. God bless you.